G'day guys, I'm with uh, Kelvin Watley who was uh, what's Woodley? Woodley. Wh who's affectionately known as the headmaster, who in fact actually is the headmaster. Kelvin, can you just want to explain to me a little bit about what your role is in the, the convoy protests and sort of how you fit into the equation? Well, I got involved because it started at Wakefield, which is just down the road from yeah, me, yeah. so the Nelson Road. And I've, I've been here and I've, I've kept a really reasonably low profile for a little yeah. bit, just seeing where I can fit in, yeah, yeah. not wanting to push myself forward. And I've, I've just in the last couple of days, so yeah. it's sort of been, been pulled into a, a, a group that's, that's working on just coordinating things around the camp and yeah. keeping things safe. Managing, managing food in and out. Because the logistics must be huge. It is, it's, it's yeah. huge. And, yeah. and the part that really complicates it is the constant rolling group of people coming yeah. and going. Yeah, yeah. So you have to keep going around the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The new ones arrive and they're all excited and yeah. happy, happy and they want to, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and we have to sort of say, no, actually, yeah, yeah. you know, that we've been here for two weeks yeah, now yeah. And, and the community is really yeah, yeah. used to us. Yeah. But, um, can't be partying all the time. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, I, I did. I walked around today. And I did a, a little canvas. I just, I'm, you know, I did a very unscientific study. I took first five people that I knew and picked in, and yes. and uh, you know, and the, and the feedback was from people going, you have a right to protest, to being sympathetic towards your cause, but having a couple of the new, new enthusiastic people sort of rub them up the wrong way. To you know, it's like actually about as much diverse out there as it actually is in here because you are dealing with a very diverse lot extremely diverse we, we, we the, the people here are truly representative of the broad range of people yeah. who are in New Zealand yeah. you know, there's people here from scientific backgrounds from, from uh, professional backgrounds yeah. um, and, and from trades and, and from all walks of life it's, yeah. it's, it truly is a diverse group of people here I mean, I, to be honest, like, you know, I'm naming the series, you know, the convoy, I'm calling it, you know, the good, the bad and the complex, you yes. know, because there's is lots complex. of factors involved in this, yes, isn't it's there? It's very complex, yeah. very complex. We're trying to, to keep the focus centralised on, the, yeah. you know, the, the, the reason the convoy yeah. happened. And, that, and that's the that's the feedback where some of the people out outside of the camp today were like, well, they uh, they seem to be under the impression that the, the the protest wasn't clear about what their, their objectives were. Yeah, no, very very clear. We've we've tried. We've had to. Yeah. But we have to keep bring, bring, bring that around. You know, yeah. Make sure people understand that yeah. just because you arrived this week, yeah. you know, it's still about what we were talking about last week. Yeah. yeah. It's still about the mandates. And imagine there are. I mean, there are a lot of related issues because you know I, I find it quite strange that having done things like Codex Alimentus, the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement and the World Trade Protest and I'm going, there's a lot of people that I sort of feel a little bit sad that I feel should be supportive of this but they yep. maybe have a misconception about the politics and who's involved and what this is about. Yeah, I, I think, I think the, the, the factor which, which people are, are missing is that all of those things yep. are representative of, of overreach yep. of a government. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're talking about TPPA, yeah. it was an overreach. They yeah. didn't have a mandate from the people to sign such an agreement. Yeah, yeah. This, this is no different. Yeah, it's yeah. just the same. The three waters, it's yeah. an overreach yeah, of the yeah. government. They don't have a mandate yeah, to yeah. take the water consistency. Well, it's even interesting when you look at it from the viewpoint of um, the the Mario Awards that you know the, the government, uh, their own advisory bodies, turned around and said, "Don't do it. You need to take more time. This and you don't really have the, you know." So there's there seems to be pushing them an agenda as opposed to actually following due process. Due process and, and make bring the yeah. people along with them. You, know, you can only move as fast as the people will move with you. Yeah, yeah. You can't get out ahead of them. Yeah. You get out ahead of them. This is what happens. You know? do, do you mind me asking you a few little like personal questions in terms of? You know, even way before COVID, you know, are you a voter at all? Yes. Do, do you, were you voting, well, like, did you lean towards Labour, the Greens Act, or...? Uh, I would be what you would classically call a swinging vote. Yeah, yeah. I've never voted for two the same yeah. party twice. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have tended to support my local MP. Yeah. Um, I've, so you, yeah, you, you tend to go with the, 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 the MP that does the best job for us, a local yeah, electoral. Because yeah. yeah. you've had quite good relationships with Damien O'Connor yes, in the past, have, haven't yes, you? I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and but as far as parties, yeah. I would find it very hard to commit myself to any one right. party. And so each election, it's been, you know, right, which one is yeah, yeah. sort of singing my tune now. And yeah. So I would definitely be a swinging voter. Oh, awesome. Um, any what have, been, what have been some of the logistical challenges that you've you know you've had to deal with actually in terms of I mean I know you've had plumbing today wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well those things are taken care of yeah. by other much more capable yeah. people than me but no the, the, the logistical thing that I see is, is the, the biggest issue really is the rolling yeah. the rolling number of people here that yeah. you're, not, you're not dealing with the same people every day yeah. necessarily a lot of them are the same but they're not all the same 
and so you have to keep coming back to the basics. Do, 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 you, do you mind me asking, and you, you know, tell me to back off of, of you don't want to ask, but when in terms of the, the permission to be here, that was granted by one of the local Māori families? Or yes, what's, it'd be, if you don't want to go into that, it's fine, but... Well, the, the, our understanding yeah. is from the from an elder of the yeah. Yeah. Is that this ground is disputed ground. Yeah. Okay, and, and, but, it was, yeah. and it was confiscated from his grandmother, and he's an elderly gentleman yeah. now, and it was confiscated from his grandmother, yeah. and it's been in dispute ever since. So that again, time. we get into the whole interesting ground where it's actually more a little bit, you know, things like Iyamato, where we start to deal with politics, which isn't just the iwi, we've got the hapu and the fano, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and his, his whānau still live yeah. right, right around us. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was talking to Pete last night. Who felt you know you've got to be security guys was filling me in a little bit about that aspect, which is what you know why I actually asked it because a day and I sort of walked out there and, and there seemed to be co- nobody really knew what the deal was and I was going well actually it's supposed to be to go and ask so yeah. here I am. So so some of his nieces are actually camped here. Yeah, yeah. A couple of them. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's 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 sort of the background to it. Isn't it? It's a little bit like what's happened in Parliament, I yeah. suppose. We, you know, Nanitama have, have said, well, this is actually just yeah, yeah. land. Yeah, well, ex- exactly. So, again, the good, the bad, and the complex. Absolutely. Is there any last messages you want to you know, say to New Zealand or to. We, we, would, we, would, we would love for this all to, all to end so yeah. we can all go back home and yeah. go back to our lives. Really. Yeah. We, don't, we don't want particularly to be here. Yeah. Um, and when, when you do pull up out of here, I mean, have there, have, have there been discussions about what we do in terms of, of any repairs that Dean been, you know, is there a plan in place for that sort of thing? We'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave the place tidy. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, thank you very much. Cool.